What's going on guys, Doolum here, back here with another video, and today we've got the new skill raid team, that's right, Spider Society, they are coming to the game, and we've got some awesome reworks to Spider-Man Noir and Ghost Spider, they're also getting the skill tag, so they're going to be dual traits, this entire team is actually dual traits, which is really, really cool, so if you're ready, let's get into it. All right, as you guys can see here, we have the newest skill raid team, Spider Society, and it's going to be consisting of Spider-Man, Pavder, Pavatir, I, I don't know, uh, Peter B. Parker and Penny Parker, and then we got reworks to Spider-Man Noir and Ghost Spider, who are going to be gaining that skill tag, so they're going to be Mystic and Skill, and Ghost Spider is going to be Bio and Skill. Um, let's stick off with Spider-Man Pavatir. Uh, I don't know how to say it, but I'm close. I don't know. He's an interesting character. I have no idea who this is. I think I it's because I haven't seen the Across the Spider-Verse movies, but it is what it is. Um, so you'll see the tags are Hero, City, Bio, Skill, Brawler, Spider-Verse, Spire Society. Um, his basic Smooth Strikes is going to attack primary target for 200% damage. Apply one slow up to a maximum of five. Rebound Chain to two adjacent targets for 200% damage. Applying a slow. This attack deals 35% extra damage to those targets with slow. Apply speed up to a random ally without speed up. Uh, and if this character and all allies have speed up, fill speed bar by 5% for self and all Spider Society allies. Um, this guy is a really interesting character. He flies around a lot. His animations are really cool. Uh, attack primary target for his special stylish slinger. Attack primary target for 300% damage. Apply offense down for two turns. Apply two Slow up to a maximum of five rebound chain to four adjacent targets for a bunch of damage. Apply speed up um, to the three most injured. And then this attack cannot be counterattacked. That's going to be a special. His ultimate is Mumbutan, Mumbaton, Mumbaton slant. I don't know. I don't know things. Uh, apply two speed up to self and all hero allies. So a little bit of a call out for just hero allies. For every enemy with slow, bear yourself and all hero Spider-Verse allies for 5%. This attack cannot be counterattacked. And then for the special, we've got on spawn, gain speed up, apply to vulnerable. To all enemies in raids, apply slow for three turns. And trauma. Um, this is nuts, giving the trauma and slow on spawn. Uh, that's pretty nuts to the enemy with the highest speed. Uh, on turn for every enemy with slow gain one speed up. So this team's just always got speed up and they've always got slow. Uh, for each speed up on this character, gain 5% drain and focus. Um, and the 20% focus, which is really cool. Hero Spider-Verse allies gain 20% crit chance, 10% crit damage, and 50% focus. And they gain additions in raids. Um, as you can see here, we'll go through the T4s as well. The T4 for his passive is going to be in raids if this character has speed up. Enemies cannot gain speed up, so they will never be able to get faster than you, which is really cool. And then in Raid, Spider Society, allies gain an additional crit chance and crit damage and focus. Uh, this is an essential T4 in my opinion, so I'm clicking it here. For the ultimate, the T4 is going to be damage to primary and secondary targets. This attack deals 50% damage against targets with slow. Clear slow from self and all allies. I think this is going to be kind of... A luxury one, a little bit maybe recommended luxury one, but not essential. So I'm going to leave it off for right now. For the special, um, it's just extra damage and clearing one extra positive effect on secondary targets. Kind of meh, in my opinion. It, 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 eh. I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion, uh, but it's, it's okay. Uh, and then for the basic, it's going to be an extra 15% damage for targets with slow and then 30% damage overall. So it looks like you can get away with just the passive and maybe the ult and then just leave the other two alone. So only one T4 on a character that's brand new is really, really nice. Um, as you can see, I have him Raider here, but you're probably going to want him as a striker. Um, because every time he does the basic, it applies speed up to a random ally that doesn't have speed up. Or he's going to be giving that speed bar if they all have speed up. So Striker's probably much better on him, honestly. Um, but yeah, then let's get into Peter B. Parker. And you see, there's a toddler in the game now. Uh, got a little spider hat on. It's adorable. 
Um, also, before we keep going, Spider-Man Paveteer, the unique is titanium alloy. You're welcome. Nobody's used that in a while, so that's nice. Uh, for Peter B. Parker, he's using that uh, the experimental formula, so stock up on those. Um, for his basic morning routine, we've got attack primary target for 270% damage. Apply offense down for two turns. Uh, apply regeneration. He's the healer, essentially, applying evade to the most injured spider society, ally, or self. That's why uh, Strikers could be pretty good on him as well, um, which would be kind of nice because we know Raider on Noir and Raider on uh, Ghost Spider are probably going to be the best. And then his T4 is apply regeneration to the two most injured Spider-Verse allies and then apply evade to the two most injured Spider Society allies. So this could be a pretty good T4, honestly, if you're struggling. Um, I'm actually going to do it. I think this one's going to be really good, especially when we start getting into those harder raids whenever a new raid comes out. Uh, his special called Mayday's First Webs. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 320% damage and clear all positive effects. Apply offense down for two turns. Clear, clear heal block from all your allies, the spider side allies. Apply regeneration. Heal the most injured a a hero Spider-Verse ally. So not just Spider Society, hero Spider-Verse, which is cool, for 30% of this character's max health. And apply offense up to the ally with highest damage, the hero Spider-Verse ally. Um, and then... We have a T4 here. It's calling the hero Spider-Verse ally with the least speed bar to attack the most injured enemy. It's interesting. I, I don't think this is going to be worth it unless this um, triggers the basic counter assist from Spider-Man Paveteer and gives that 5% speed if he's going to be the highest damage. But I think Gwen's gonna, or Ghost Spider is going to be the highest damage. And then again, he's going to put a ble uh, the blind out there with the basic uh, for the assist. So it could be pretty good. Could be interesting. But I'm going to leave it off for right now. For the ultimate, Daddy Daughter Day. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 400% damage. And apply Disrupted for one turn. And apply Offense down for two turns. Clear all negative effects. So a team-wide cleanse for Hero Spider-Verse. Not just the team that they're on. Apply Defense up to Hero Spider-Verse. Apply Regeneration for one turn. Another regeneration for two turns and another regeneration for three turns, which is really, really interesting. Um, so it's spreading out the regen. So it's not all full health at one turn. It spreads it out, um, which is really, really nice, actually. Uh, and then Hero Spider-Verse allies apply three counter to the uh, those allies with the highest damage. So that's pretty interesting as well. And then heal self and all allies for 25% of this character's max health. In raids, heal self for an additional 25%. And then the T4 is going to be applying Disrupted for two turns. And this is uh, hitting primary and adjacent. So this is pretty good. And then applying Immunity to Self and All Spider Society allies. So this is a really good T4. I'm absolutely going to do that one. Next up, we've got the passive Baby on board. That's right. There's a baby in the game. Can't get a wheelchair, but we've got babies. Uh, on spawn, apply two Death Proof, two Defense Up, two Deflect, and two Regeneration. To self and all speeder, speeder verse, hero spider verse allies. On turn, prolong the duration of all positive effects by one on the most injured hero spider verse ally. Apply assist now to the highest damage hero spider verse ally. When this character, any hero spider verse ally is attacked, heal the most injured hero spider verse ally or self for 20% of max health. That's why I like healer on him because his passive is healing all the time. Um, every time somebody's hit. So I really liked healer on him. Uh, if the attack care if the attack character had vulnerable, clear vulnerable from this character and all Spider Society allies, which is nuts. Uh, he's got a passive that's clearing it when it's uh, when people are getting hit and have them. Uh, Ten percent assist chance and then ten percent per Spidey Society ally. So maybe you get a skirmisher in here somewhere, um, and then you see just a bunch of buffs. Fifty percent max health for himself and team, and fifty percent max resistance for uh, Spider Society allies. And then the um, the T4 is going to be on spawn in raids. Apply safeguard to self and all Spider Society allies. If this character has three or more Spider Society allies, this character and Spider Society allies cannot gain defense down, this is an essential T4. That is an absolute no-brainer. For sure do this one. Um, right now I'm running healer. I want to do some testing before I see uh, if a skirmisher assists triple tap is a good thing or not. 
because we really don't have that many strikers here because Noir is a good raider, Ghost Spider is a good raider, um, but I got to test it out to see the ISOs, so don't mind this at all. Last and certainly not least is Penny Parker, so she's going to be the protector of the team. Let's go to the basic here. We've got Spider Strike. Um, so attack primary target for 260% damage. Clearing po three positive effects. This character has barrier. Gain an additional 50% extra damage for this attack. Gain one deflect for each hero spider's ally up to a max of five. Apply one deflect to a max um, of five to all spe sp speeder verse. I keep saying it. It's, it's, it's a plague. Uh, hero spider verse allies and then generate one ability energy for self and all si spider society allies. That's why I have her as striker right now because of uh, the generating energy. So it looks like she's going to be the battery. Um, the T4 is an extra 100% damage and clearing all positive effects on primary target. This might be useful, but I think this one is going to be situational depending on how the team does without it. And then you can kind of decide from there. Um, the ultimate is going to be called Neon Blitz. It's attack primary target for 140% damage. Apply slow. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 320% damage. Apply bleed and heal block. This character has barrier. You gain an extra 50% damage. Clear all negative effects and apply stealth to two most injured hero spread of his allies, which is absolutely nuts. Super, super cool. Uh, apply one deflect immunity and offense up to self and all allies. This is any game mode and this goes off turn one. So this is any game mode, any ally, anything. This is apply deflect immunity and offense up to self and all allies, which is really cool. Uh, the T4 applies stun to the primary target. I like stunning, so we're going to put that one on for sure. Uh, it also does more damage, which is nice. The ult is synergetic surge. Clear all negative effects from self and all allies. Clear all positive effects on the primary target. Apply slow and stun. So you've got a stun and a, uh, a stun on the special and the ult, which is nice. Attack all enemies for 400% damage. If this character has barrier, gain an extra 50% damage. She almost always has barrier, so she's almost always got that extra 50% damage, which is really nice. And then for each deflect on this character, apply one bleed to each enemy up to a max of five, which is also really cool. Um, apply ability block to all support enemies. And this is not raid reliant either. Apply ability block to all support enemies. That could be kind of interesting. Um, apply one deflect to a maximum of five to self and all allies. Apply counter to death proof and defense up for two turns and self to self and all allies. This attack is unavoidable and cannot be blocked. And then the T4 is an extra 100% damage. In raids, apply trauma to all enemies. And then in raids, apply safeguard for two turns to all Spider Society allies. So this is going to give you more safeguard after the safeguard from Peter B. Parker runs out from that turn one on spawn. This is a no-brainer T4, absolutely. Uh, let's get into the passive Mecha Menace. Um, we got on spawn if this character does not have barrier, barrier yourself and all hero Spider-Verse allies. So like I said, she's always going to have barrier to get that 50% damage. Generate one ability energy for self and all Spider Society allies. Gain two deflect up to a maximum of five. In raids, apply offense down to all enemies. On end of turn, if this character does not have barrier, barrier yourself and all hero Spider-Verse allies. On block by this character or a hero Spider-Verse ally, clear a random negative effect on that character. So she's giving all those blocks out to all of her allies. So it's going to end up being uh, getting clearing negative effects as well, which is really cool. Uh, when this character or a spider, spider society ally gains disrupted, clear a random negative effect from self and all spider society allies. Really cool. Um, while this character has deflect, lower the crit chance and crit damage of all enemies by 25%. Gain 100% resistance for each deflect on this character, which is nuts. They're going to have, she's going to have deflect all the time. Gain 50% armor, 25% um, health for her and her team. And then in raids, an additional 50% health. And then the T4 is going to be on spawn in raids. Generate an additional five ability energy for self and all allies. Um, so this is going to make it so you don't have to worry about cooldowns. Kind of like how um, Magneto in his passive, you had to uh, T4 his passive to not have to worry about cooldowns for Death Seed. Um, and then also on end of turn, fill five fill speed bar by five percent for self and all Spider Society allies. This, in my opinion, is also an absolute no brainer. Got to do this one. I did like Striker on her as of right now because of the clearing, the positive effects, and also the deflex and how much um, that helps out. 
and generating the one ability energy. So Striker was kind of a no-brainer on Penny. Um, let's get to the two reworks, though. So we got Spider-Man Noir is going to be City, Mystic, and Skill. That's right. We've got dual traits coming back. Um, so let's go to the basic. Pretty much, essentially, anything that was in Crucible is going to raids as well. So you see in Crucible, always gain evade, and you're also getting a regen from this. That's from the T4. From the special, um, pretty much nothing was changed here. Uh, this is pretty much the exact same. The ultimate is, you see, we got some enraged clear all regeneration from the primary and adjacent targets. Gain an extra 1,000% focus, which is awesome. And if this character has stealth, apply disrupted for two turns to the primary target. So we have a little bit extra bonuses for raids. And then we see raids here as well. Um, on spawn, if uh, if health is full, gain revive once with 50% of this character's max health. In raids, gain offense up. In raids, spill feet, fill speed bar by 25%. This character's attacks deal an additional 50% to Hydra or Swarm. That was always there. Not sure why. And then he's also going to give extra damage um, to Spider-Verse. And then also extra damage in raids to Spider Society. So he's going to be really nice to have on the front end to give all that extra damage. Then we'll go back to Ghost Spider. Um, you'll see for her basic in raids, you're going to apply the... If the primary target has slow, you apply blind and bleed now is the new part. The special is pretty much the exact same, but you apply assist now to a one random Spider Society or Spider-Man Miles ally. It just added the Spider Society part. Uh, the ultimate, the only thing that was added here, if this character has three or more Spider Society allies, clear taunt from all enemies, which is really cool. And then the passive here is changed a little bit. It's adding the Spider Society tags here. It's also giving an additional 50% damage in raids. Um, so this team is definitely going to be attached to raids for sure. Um, I think there could be some use outside of it, but it's it's too early to tell for sure. But it's definitely going to be interesting to see um, what the community can come up with in maybe War or maybe Crucible plug and play because the team is 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 pretty good, but a lot of it is tied to raids. Uh, Web Warrior and Spider Society allies gain damage. On spawn, apply speed up and evade to self and all hero Spider-Verse allies. So again, that plug and play nature that they've been trying to add to raid teams is nice, um, but it remains to be seen if it's going to be useful. And then on spawn, if this character has four or more hero Spider-Verse allies, generate two ability energy for five random hero Spider-Verse allies, which is really cool. Um, so this can give some really cool plug and play ability to Ghost Spider, um, because if you put four other hero Spider-Verse allies, um, you know, th that could that could start with some ults turn one in places that uh, you wouldn't want ults turn one normally. So this could be pretty interesting. Uh, I'm super, super excited for this team. Some really oddball picks for characters, in my opinion, because I haven't seen a cross from Spider-Verse. But the team overall looks really, really good on paper. Um, I'm super excited to show you guys some test footage once we're able to do it. But for right now, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me down know down below what you guys think about this team in the comment section. If you guys like the two characters that they chose to rework, also giving them the skill tag to give a little bit more versatility. But until next time, this has been Doolum. Later, y'all.